It all began at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport shortly after the much-anticipated arrival of U.S. President Barack Obama. After exchanging pleasantries with his host, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Obama's motorcade left the airport with pomp and color. The often gridlocked city roads and streets remained deserted, with motorists having to pave way for the new sheriff in town. And Saturday morning, along major roads and around the central business district, there were more pedestrians than vehicles. Movement clearly limited to certain areas. War unto them who dared drive where driving was prohibited for the day. The roads remained open for the man of the moment in his multi-million shillings beast and his motorcade that left onlookers baffled. Two identical beasts crisscrossing the roads made it hard to establish which one was carrying President Obama. Nonetheless, the presidential flair was evident. Besides the Hawkeye police officers that remained vigilant all through along the roads and atop buildings, the motorcade was flanked by what's believed to be a moving armory in the form of this black vehicle. The same vigilance was witnessed up above the skies as these helicopters flew low in areas where President Obama was. The situation is expected to remain this way if not tighter this evening and the better part of Sunday when Obama flies out to Ethiopia. Local airspace will be closed 40 minutes to Obama's departure. Patrick Gunza, Citizen Weekend.